Hi, this is Zach Dennis from Mutually Human Software. This screencast is to show you how to set up the Evernote Clipper in TextMate. If you go out to this GitHub URL, go ahead and copy the contents of the Evernote Clipper RB file. And then back in TextMate, uh, just open up the bundle editor, pick a bundle, add a new command, and then call this Evernote Clipper. And then just paste in the contents of what we just copied. Uh, I changed the output to discard. If you have issues running this, um, you may want to change this to create a new document so you can see some of the output. Uh, my key keyboard combination is Control Option Command E, and I don't specify a scope selector. The idea here is that you can just select some random text in TextMate, hit Control Option Command E, and it will pop up and ask you for the title of the note. That's some awesome code. And we'll ask you what notebook to place it in. It's unfiled by default, and that's fine. So just click OK. All right, and there's our awesome code. Let's say that we actually wanted to expand that later. Um, so we'll hit Control Option Command E again, and it's going to ask us again what the title of the note is. Um, if we use the same title and we put it in the same notebook, then we'll get kind of poor man version control here. It'll tell us it's awesome code number two. Um, and this is because Evernote doesn't allow you to actually update notes. You can only create new notes. Um, then you can just go back to uh, Evernote later. And when you start filing some of the ones that are unfiled, um, you can delete the old ones and keep the latest one. So this actually works with uh, Textile too. So if you're writing a fake blog post, let me put this in textile mode. You can see it changed down here. Um, you can select the entire file. Control, Option, Command, E. Um, so this is my blog post. We'll, again, we'll leave it to be in the unfiled notebook. And it actually pre-processed that textile using uh, Ruby's red cloth library. And then it just pops the HTML into your note. And the same is true for Markdown. So let's say we change this to Markdown. Run the same thing. And again, it runs that through the Ruby library BlueCoth uh, to preprocess the Markdown and make it HTML. And that's pretty much all there is to setting up the Texmo Evernote Clipper.